Hey, guys. I like to cut it close, boys. <laughs> good afternoon, everybody, and welcome or good evening, depending on where in the world you are. This is Diane Ackman, and this is the My Lead System Pro Ultimate Freedom Webinar, and we are telling inside jokes that you will not be privy to. You will not be privy to. I want to welcome everybody. I have with me today Bob Clark. Bob, what's up? Did you have hey, an actual everybody. anniversary? Is that what that picture was? Tomorrow. 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 Happy anniversary to you and Rosemary. You're a beautiful right. couple. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, and uh, welcome, everybody. Glad to see everybody here. Diane, it's great to see you. Bert? I know. I haven't seen you in, like, ages. I know. You're working, you're working Friday, right? You're working Friday, are you? Yeah. Yep. Uh, bummer. Well, maybe, Bert, maybe we'll tell people what we're doing this weekend. Um, but Bob, unfortunately, is in driving distance, but is uh, in uh, well, you at work. Never, you never know about me. I might do some weird things. Well, you never know, because uh, that's always cool. And, and uh, you know, we would have booked it on Monday, but it just doesn't work out. You know what I'm saying? And then I have Mr. Burt Bledsoe, who, rumor has it, is hitting the East Coast. And we might be having a little MLSP shindig uh, this weekend, uh, un unsanctioned, by the way. I have not gotten, bl gotten blessing from corporate, but I'm sure they would bless this one. Um, so we'll we'll uh, share that in a few minutes. How you doing, Bert? I'm good. I'm good. I'm. Uh, yeah, the rumor is correct. So I'm I'm here um, in Colorado. You know, usually when I leave Colorado, I get to like ditch some of the gear because it's always, you know, I live at high elevation. It's cold, except for yep. I've been looking at your guys' pictures and I keep on seeing yeah. Bob's posts about how his, you know, he's got to go shovel more snow. So I guess I, uh, I guess a beanie is in my beanie and mittens instead of a swimsuit. It's, yeah, you, you, it's you, 50 you. degrees today, but I hear it's going to nosedive. I haven't looked yeah. at the weather. Bob, you better, have you heard that? It's going to nosedive? Yeah, it's the polar vortex is back. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we love that polar vortex. Gotta oh. love the polar vortex. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> you know what? Here's what's going to be really good. And guys, we're going to get down to some. What I want you guys to do is go in there. Let me turn on the Q&A. We're going to do some Q&A today. What I like is um, I like if you guys toss out some questions. And I'm not promising I'm going to answer all of them. I just like when somebody asks a question. And I call it name that tune, Bert. It's like somebody throw something out until we find something we like, and then we're going to sing the song. So name that tune. Nice. Um, so just for everybody, uh, we will put this in the uh, MLSB Facebook group. But Bert and Justice Egan are going to be here in Connecticut uh, on Friday. And I don't have times and everything else yet, but for those of you that are in driving distance of southern New England, eastern Connecticut, you are invited. We will let you know where we are uh, and what's going on, and um, Bert likes bacon, and you have to buy Bert something when you come. That's the rule. So justice, eh, but Bert is coming all the way from across the country. you got to buy him something. Could be a chocolate bar. Do you like chocolate or no? I do. Bert, I mean, Bob is Snapple Boy today. I like it. Snapple I, am. Boy. I pretty much like everything except for I'm not really – I don't dislike it, but rye bread is like it's only really good in that specific instance. It's so limited to its uses. Yes, like, I agree. It only goes with certain things. It's yeah. Mm. If you bring me rye bread, that's not really cool. I mean, I'll take it. It'll be a wonderful gift. It just it wouldn't be practical. But other than rye bread, anything else, I'm game. Oh, and Bert, here's the good news: there are not one but two Dunkin' Donuts at the location that we're going to. You Not have to one, go both. but you have two. To go both while you're there, at least. You know what I mean? Like you hit one at the beginning, and then midway through the day or in the night, you're like, "Hey, where should we do? We should go to Dunkin' Donuts Dunkin really Donuts. quick and get a coffee." Okay, Bert, this is for you, man. This is what I'm getting you. Nice. There you go. Well, see, cool. now don't get him a gift card because he won't be here long. Oh no, you'll be on the East Coast for a little bit, so you could. Yeah, yeah. Him. I'll be, I'll be along. And, at least. and guess what? Hartford Airport has a Dunkin' Donuts. Boom. Every it's airport a perfect gift, Bob. It's a perfect I think gift. BWI, we'll look it up. BWI might have a Dunkin' Donuts. We're like hooking I'm you sure. up light and sweet, yeah. baby. Oh. Light and sweet. Literally going to be coffeeed up for about four days. It's Dunkin' Donuts style. <laughs> like, hey. Bert, how do we tell the difference? <laughs> I don't know how much lighter and sweeter this can get, but we're going to push it. <laughs> We're going to Look at Bob. There's possibilities. There you right. go. Bob's yeah. wiring sweeter than you. So. That's true. true. Jack Kelly said, darn, he was just baking you a loaf of rye. Who knew? Yeah, right? You watch, watch your chat light up now for the rye bread. 
<laughs> all right, guys, this is what we're going to do today. First of all, um, this webinar, of course, is brought to you by My Lead System Pro, the incredible lead generation uh, training community uh, designed for everybody with a home business, learn how to generate more leads, recruit more people, all the good stuff that you want to do. Uh, I like the make more money aspect of it, and I am not making financial claims or telling you that you will make money, but I'm telling you that a whole bunch of us do. In fact, if you checked out today's email that went out, there was documented proof of one of our members, Mr. Rob Four, making a half a mil, cool half a mil. I thought it was juicy yeah, email. I saw that. You know, we're not really check flashers so much around here, and uh, but we like an occasional screenshot. But we like to wait until it's like a nice chunky number. So, um, <laughs> congratulations to Rob Four, and we have other, uh, including myself, uh, six multiple six figure, you know, and so on and so forth earners uh, here. And this is just the training and lead generation platform. This is not the business opportunity. We are not a business opportunity. We are a training uh, community. So it's really cool to think that you can make that kind of money here, uh, you know, just as the, you know, just up on the front end, let alone your primary opportunities or whatever it is you're promoting, whether it's your affiliate programs, your network marketing deals, all that good stuff. So today what we're going to do, there's Angela. Um, today what we're going to do is um, we're going to like chillax a little bit. And what I'm asking you guys to do is go in the Q&A and toss out some questions or concepts that you'd like to work on. We're not going to do them all. We're going to pick one or two. We're going to take a look and uh, uh, we'll see what we got. Let's see if anybody's written anything. No, nobody has any questions today, Bert and Bob. We're just going to hang out and talk about Snapple. Well, you know, somebody put something in the chat that made me laugh. They said, like, Bert needs coffee. And now I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? Sometimes for a guy like Bert, coffee is calming. It's a stimulant uh, is actually the uh, – that's me. I drink stimulants all day long, and people are like, how can you do that? Uh, I need to. It's called self-medication. Thank you very much. It's better than drugs, you know. It's, uh, you know, it's, it, it, you know, it is what it is. So here's my stimulant. But I'll, I'll drink a little Dunkin' Donuts with you, Bert. I'll buy it. But I think we should get some other MLSP member to to belly up and buy the coffee. Just yeah. I, well, and I think you know that where we'll be, it's a fun place. So uh, people will want to be there. I mean, it's. Oh. Without it's not like you're, we're like, hey, by the way, we're going to be meeting down at the Dunkin' Donuts that's down by the beach. In down Secaucus. Over in the ghetto. It's not in, we're not talking about like the projects of West Hartford. We're like, you know that one Dunkin' Donuts where the drive throughs broken and they have like the bars? <laughs> it's not that one where they have like the drawer where they slide your coffee. You're like, are you sure it's going to fit something? Look at their brother. Like, hey, bro, that's all you get for 58 cents, okay? Get it or you don't. So it's not like that. It's going to be a fun yeah. place. Where we're, we're talking making. high end Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, high we're end going, Dunkin' Donuts. The one that was redecorated high. recently. It's like the new yeah. McDonald's that they make all frou frou and they call it McCafe. Yeah, it's like, yeah. what? Well, it's McDonald's, kids. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, the person who just wrote the question, I think you are confusing different um, different uh, entities. Okay, this is a My Lead System Pro webinar for My Lead System Pro. So um, important that you guys know that. Now, I um, am a, a speaker at a couple different places, so sometimes people get confused. Bird is very important. He's uh, People like him all over. And Bob is Mr. Magnificent. So um, so this <laughs> is my Lead System Pro. Questions today would be about attraction marketing, generating leads, about converting those leads, about closing people, about uh, setting up Internet systems, although I am not the technical person uh, here. I don't think any of us are super technical, but we certainly know a little bit about, uh, you know, lead generation, obviously capture pages, autoresponders, etc. cetera. Um, I like stuff. I'm personally a, a psychology type of person, so things about dealing with people, overcoming objections. I'm, I'm good at those. Bert's good at those. Bob's good at those. Um, so I'm looking for some action or traction. Otherwise, I'm going to start talking about whatever I want. And you guys know, you two both know that that's dangerous. Yeah, I'm going to um, jump in, Diane, because I have a question. On. Actually, I don't have a question, but this this was a question asked of me or kind of like a comment the other day on uh, one of my email, uh, mm -hmm. people on emails. He's like, I don't have time for attraction marketing. I'm only part-time. I need to make sales. You know, bam, bam. I need to get things going. I don't have time for attraction marketing. It takes too much time. What are your thoughts on that? Okay. First of all, let's go back to defining attraction marketing because I also see other pretty proficient marketers out there, and they'll go, oh, I don't believe in that attraction marketing stuff, and it makes me laugh. Attraction marketing is a name 
for direct response, guys. What direct response? And direct response is as old as the hills, as long as there's been mail. So today we use email. Back in the day we used mail, and we still do. Uh, some people do. But attraction marketing, the difference is you have attraction, you have marketing where it's going towards people. Bert, if I could show you a way to make some extra money around what you're already doing, would you be interested in taking a look? That is going towards Bert. I might meet him at the mall. I might meet him at the, you know, wherever it might be. And I might approach him and go towards him and see if I can prospect him. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, and it's been going on since the beginning of time. People have prospected people, especially in network marketing. But here's what I know. Okay, Bert, if I get a little, well, Bert's a bad example. Bob, I'm going to you. <laughs> Bert is different than every other person on the face of the earth. That is the beauty of Bert. Bob, if I get a little, absolutely, does Marty says direct mail rules, 100% agree, use it tremendously. Bert, uh, Bob, if I get a little too close to you, I'm mm -hmm. just a little too close to you, and I'm coming towards you here. Let's get close, Bob. Ready? A okay. little too close to you, and I'm in your space, and I'm trying to ask you if you want to look at my business opportunity. Which way are you going to move? Are you going to move towards me, or are you going to move away? He's going to back, move away. Back, maybe. Back. And he has the rolling chair to put the emphasis on it. Okay? I do. <laughs> so most people, if you look at, you know, if you move towards something, it's generally going to back up. Okay, it's generally, people are generally going to back up when you move towards them. So when you prospect them, you really have to be skillful and learn how to engage them. We certainly can. In fact, Bill is teaching a great course about phone, you know, phone prospecting and so on. But in general, if you're not skilled, if you go towards someone and say, want to buy my stuff, people are going to move back. By the way, on Facebook, it's the same thing. You write to someone and they know you're approaching them and they're going to move back. Have you guys all felt that feeling when somebody's coming towards you, you feel an agenda, and you move back? Attraction marketing is just the opposite, where we're some, in, in some fashion uh, advertising or marketing or putting some material out that makes somebody go, ooh, they raise their hand and they go, ooh, that interests me. And when they do, depending on what phase of your marketing career you're in and how skilled you are, it could be that they put in their name and email. It could be that they call you. It could be that they write you. just depends on how you have your system set up. But all it means is that the people are, I mean, in, in phone rooms we call it incoming marketing. Guys, how many of you ever bought anything from an uh, infomercial? Anybody? Either of you guys? Infomercial? Yeah. yeah I have. Yeah, right? Yeah. And, and back in the day... Uh, nowadays you can go to a website, but they really want you to call. In fact, I noticed a couple of the infomercials now are telling you you get a bonus if you call versus ordering online. And the reason why is because they want that phone call to come in. They already know you're hot, and they want to put you on the phone with a salesperson who will upgrade you. So all marketers like incoming marketing versus outgoing marketing a lot better because incoming means you already know. They're already pre-qualified. So... I think that's a pretty good thing. You guys let me know if you think that's a pretty good thing. But when I figured out I was allowed to attract people to me, instead of having to go out and talk to people in the supermarket and go, I notice you have bananas in your cart. You must be health conscious. <laughs> you know, and that type of stuff, that always kind of wigged me out. Um, and again, there's nothing wrong with that because a lot of people really can turn a phrase and start conversations. And if you're one of those people, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it all day long. But for me, I was a little shyer, I was a little quieter, and I needed to get the people to come towards me. Once they came towards me, I was golden. And Bob, you're good, right? When people come towards you, golden piece of cake. Yeah, yeah, but I'm the right. same way. I, you yeah. know, I'm, I'm basically kind of shy. I don't want to go up and approach people at the mall and ask them, you know, if they if they really like the drink that they're drinking, would they like something different? Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's not – most people, I think, are like that. Most people would rather have it the other way. When I found the, you know, attraction marketing principles, it just changed everything because having people come towards you, it's a whole different game. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and again, guys, I'm not knocking the other way because I did it for years, and that's how I learned how to do it. And if you know how to do it or you enjoy doing it, if you're a people person – 
Um, I'm a hermit. I'll admit it. Uh, Hermits Anonymous. I, I live in my house. You're lucky I showered for the webinar today. Um, not that I don't shower. It's just I don't shower on a regular schedule, just saying. Um, you know, I'm a hermit, and, and I've always been that way, and so this really suits me. Some of you guys might relate to that. But if I'm out somewhere and I meet someone cool, like, Bert, when we go when we go this Friday, if we meet some cool people, we're not going to not share MLSP with them. I mean, that's not nice either. you got to, you know, you got to share it, right? Sure. So that's attraction marketing. Now, here's what's cool, Bob. Your guy says, I don't have time for attraction marketing. Well, does he have time to run an ad on Facebook? It takes about five minutes. Mm -hmm. And if he did, could he run them into one of our done-for-you sales pages that offers a product, and could he make 100% pure profit sales with a five-minute effort? Yep. You know, it's it's Absolutely. not that hard. Uh, could he generate leads that way? I have an ad running now, and you know me. I'm not a big ad runner. But I thought... For five bucks a day, I'm going to rock and roll. There's a new uh, campaign we have in the back office. I'll show you guys. It's one of the trainings I did. Um, and I thought, well, I'm going to advertise. It's my training. I might as well advertise the training. And every single day, I have about 10 leads coming in. Uh, I placed the ad. It took me about six minutes a week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have time to learn a simple skill and to run some traffic into something that potentially either generates you leads or that um, could make you sales, I think that that's kind of a, you know, maybe he just doesn't understand what attraction marketing yeah. is. Yeah, yep, yeah. absolutely. So I hope that helps you guys a little bit because what happens is a lot of times people get caught up in doing all this busy work. By the way, before we had the Internet, they did that too. They were making a list. They were checking it twice. They were figuring out who was naughty and nice. They had to rearrange their desk. They had to make some new sales flyers. Anybody who's been around the block for a while, you know those people. They were always getting ready to get ready. Uh, so it's the same on the internet. You could build a Facebook page and build a blog and build a, you know, and build a group and build a this and build a that. You could spend your whole week feeling extra, extra, extra busy. But if you don't put interested people in front of offers so that they can convert into a sale, you're not conducting business. Okay, so it's interested people in front of offers to create a sale. And we give you all the tools and training you need to do that here at My Lead System Pro. So let me take a look and see now if anybody's been inspired. Inspiring. Okay, good. We got a couple questions here. Let's see if any of them turn us on. You guys can't see them, though, right, because I pulled you over. No, they can't see the questions, but we can see the chat. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heart. I'm kind of an introvert. You? <laughs> no, I was reading. Like, oh. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, just a curiosity on a sidebar. If you're out somewhere, you're at the airport, are you going to run around and be as boisterous as you are, like, in this environment, or are you not? I mean, maybe you are, maybe you're not. I don't know. I haven't seen you outside a... I mean, not, not if I was just walking through the airport. Now, right. it doesn't mean that, okay, like, I'm not, like, a big, humongous person, but... <clears throat> like in physical stature, but you know, I'm like about six foot tall and I'm bald and you know, I walk with confidence like, in an authority air. and confidence and stuff. So it's not that I don't, it's not that I don't attract attention, but I'm not doing it in a loud, like kind of more of not, not obnoxious, but I'm not doing it in a boisterous way. Now I'm that guy that we went and stopped at um, a barbecue joint with my um, sister on the way home from the ice festival. And Jessica was like, we're in line. It's this big line to get to food, and there's all these people, and the people in front of me are standing there, and my wife literally looks at me and goes like this, um, Bert, I'm going to run out and get to my phone so I can use my phone while we're standing in line. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And the people in front of me kind of chuckled, and I was like, yeah, my wife basically just said she doesn't want to talk to me. She'd rather be with her <laughs> Facebook friend. <laughs> and so they laughed, and then literally we had a whole conversation, and by the time Jessica came back, I had the husband and the wife is a doctor here in the Air Force, and the husband has a house in North Carolina, and they're, you know, they're split homes and all this. And I have the husband, like, advocating for me, right? He's, like, burned, <laughs> like he's like tearing into Jessica, and he's like, listen, next time you stay here and get us on your team, and then you'll have the power of us. You won't be walking into this situation. So I'm that guy, but I wasn't, like, you know, like doing cartwheels through the restaurant. 
I you should do cartwheels in the airport. I think the security would like that. You know, just like, like when those long stretches in O'Hare or something would be good. I have to admit, if you've seen my handstand video. I have. I Also, another thing that I can't do besides do a handstand is I, ne- I can do a somersault, but I cannot do or I have not yet mastered the cartwheel. There's something that does not go. My <laughs> hips just want to come back down to earth. <laughs> I and understand. Go that way in the air. Completely. It just don't go that way, baby, right? That's it. Right. So. It doesn't work All right. That way. So, so you guys can see some people are naturally out in public more social, right? And some people aren't. Um, you know, I, I, I kind of lean both ways. It just depends on the environment, where I am, and what's going on. I can be all over the place or I could be just silent. Um, and it's really weird because sometimes my husband will be like, what's up with you? Why don't you just chat? And I'm like, because I don't know anyone. You know, and I'm like, I don't know anyone. And then another day, I'm like all over the place. It just depends if I make that spark connection with somebody and then it becomes a comfort level. So so whether you're somebody who's really outgoing or whether you're somebody who's not, attraction marketing is the great uh, the, the balancer because if you're good at chatting but you don't want to pitch someone, uh, you can always collect their email and information and get them into your systems. Um, so there's there's all different ways. So people are asking questions about uh, content and getting content seen, uh, direct mail, ninja secrets for meeting people on uh, uh, online. Let me see what the rest of these are. Uh, okay, content. Okay. Um, okay. First, let me answer Bill your question. Um, I'm assuming uh, Bill says that he bought Social Media Mastery, um, and um, which is Michelle's incredible course on Facebook marketing, etc. And um, but he's like learning MLSP as well as Social Media Mastery, and it's kind of a, a bit much. Uh, Bill, if you are a member of MLSP, I highly encourage you to go and work through the training in MLSP. Um, first as a foundation because it's going to give you a really good marketing overview and kind of like the big picture and then yes we encourage everybody to pick one marketing method to focus on and Facebook marketing is an excellent choice so I would get your system set up and then I would turn around and focus in on, on mastering the Facebook marketing but I will tell you that that course is awesome and can be used as a standalone if anybody's visiting today and you're not really looking for a membership because whatever the case may be um, any of our courses stand alone. Okay, they stand on their own and they are not MLSP dependent, um, which I like because if you want to learn video marketing, we have uh, tubetrafficmojo.com. I'll push some of these. If you want to learn video marketing, YouTube marketing, you don't need to be a My Lead System Pro member to use that course. It's off the hook. It gets people results like crazy. If you want to learn Facebook marketing, Michelle is the foremost, uh, Michelle Pescasolito is the foremost expert in Facebook marketing out there and you absolutely can get her course whether you're using our systems or not. And by the way, MLSP members. If you're a mastery member, you absolutely can promote those courses to people that are not members of My Lead System Pro. So keep that in mind. I'll push some of those links because we have so many great courses um, that people really might want to get. But if you're new to just marketing in general, Bill, ain't nothing better than what we have to get you the big picture. And then you pick that method. So that would be good. Yep, Bob. The great thing about these courses too is that they're kept up to date. Yep. You know, uh, you know, if everybody knows Facebook, YouTube, social media changes so fast, almost day to day, week to week, and that stuff can become out of date really fast. So when I bought Michelle's course, I was really happy because she had just updated it. Yep. So I was kind of like on the cutting edge of all this new stuff that was happening. And it really helped. So, um, yep. you know, don't be afraid, guys, that it's going to be out of date because they keep them up up to date. Really yeah, and that's a big difference with a lot of other places. They create a course and they continue to sell it, and then you log in, and then you're trying to like look at the social media site, and the whole interface is different now. So the course, even though the concepts in the course might still hold true, if it looks completely different than what you're looking at, it gets really like YouTube has recently completely changed. Um, I was in there with my assistant, going, "What they do? They changed everything again. I hate when they change things on me." Um, so absolutely, Bill, but that was, would be what I'd say to you. Now, uh, this is a great question, and I want to tackle this one. Um, Marcella's asking, I'm having a, a, pro- a problem exactly how to define what kind of content 
I should post on Facebook. I'm in network marketing. I've had results offline, but I'm having a hard time to make the transition online. Um, and this is a great question because one of the fundamentals of attraction marketing is that we lead with information that is valuable and of interest to anybody that's in the space. So I might lead with a training. I might put out content with training on lead generation for network marketing. I might put out how to use YouTube to generate leads for your network marketing, how to recruit more people on Facebook. Um, this type of content, which is generic, meaning not company specific to your network marketing company, and as you generate the lead and give them something of value, that's then your opportunity to reach out and say hi to the lead and find out where they are and what they're looking for and to see how you can help them. If you're an MLSP member, not only do you have our system to help them with, as well as all of our courses and trainings, which are extensive, but you also can find out if they are looking for a network marketing opportunity or an affiliate opportunity and show them one if they are. So the lead is generated, they come into your system, they're being fed follow-up letters, etc., and invited to webinars and trainings, and then we reach out and contact them because now we have a relationship with them and we discuss what they're looking for. And then once we find out or ascertain that they do want a network marketing company or business opportunity, we can show them ours. Or if they're not looking, we can show them something from MLSP, create some cash flow by selling them a product or a service, and then keep that relationship with them because a lot of times people make a change and when they do, you'll be at the top of their mind if you've followed up and been helpful and served them. And I have to tell you the truth, I've been doing this for almost 15 years and all the people that I've recruited today were people that I helped in the past. Um, and it's funny because when I have something available, people are always like asking me, what is it, what is it? After time and after going through this process, you become the commodity. Uh, the old headline is become the hunted, not the hunter. In the beginning, the marketer is hunting and trying to, to recruit someone. As you become more experienced and really learn attraction marketing, people want to basically want to get you. They want you as their sponsor. They want you as their mentor. They want you to teach them. They want you. And that's the process. So I hope that makes sense, Marcella. You really want to lead with some information that's of value to the type of people you'd like to recruit. Um, and by the way, in the back office, and maybe we'll hopefully screen share is working today. It was funky last week or whenever that was. I'll show you. We have what we ha uh, call um, system campaigns. You can give away our free trainings that are already done for you. You can do that on Facebook. You can do it on YouTube. You can do it on Twitter. You can do it anywhere you want. Uh, or you can create your own little trainings and different things to give away. And we give you information. We have a whole section on how to create your own free report, uh, you know, opt-in offers, all that good stuff. So it's really, MLSP is really comprehensive in training you on how to be a marketer that knows how to generate leads. Hey, Diane. Yep, come in. The, per the person who asked that question I mean, has an amazing opportunity because not only can they do what you said to start and start building up, getting some leads and even some sales using the MLSP system, but then they can start chronicling their story to other offline MLMers who are really intimidated by going online and saying, look, this is how I made the transition. Just, just chronicle your story all the way along. So it, it's a perfect way to do that. Yeah. What I recommend you guys do is don't, overthink it too much. A lot of people think when they hear the word content, it gets a little intimidating. Content is just sharing anything that might be helpful to someone. You know, like Bert, off the cuff, think of something that you've learned over the last year that's helpful to someone. Anything. Well, I, I learned that you can send um, people right to your email list directly. You don't even have to have a capture page or anything. You can send them right to your email list. That was a pretty... That was a big revelation. I actually learned that one right here. Right. Here. And so it was like a great little nugget he learned. Bert can turn around and he can write on his blog if he has one. By the way, you don't need a blog out of the gate, guys. So, you know, I wouldn't worry about it if you don't have one yet. Uh, but he could write about it on his blog. He could write an article about it. He could do a video about it. He could do an audio about it. He could also post it on his Facebook wall or fan page. So there's five different ways I just went through that Bert could share a quick little snippet that he learned, and it'll make people go, wow, Bert, thanks, that helped. 
Because I remember when you learned it, you were like, snuff, that's cool. Remember? Uh, you remember that day? Yeah, I, think, I still think it's cool. I still tell people, and they're like, oh, my gosh, I can do that. And I, then yeah. I feel like I'm like, listen, I just learned it. And then I have to cop up to it. I'm like, well, listen, I just learned this like three months ago or two months ago. You know, like I have to – it's not like it was my idea, buddy. Someone told me. Right? Like they think that you're a genius when you share something like that. People are like, yeah. oh, my gosh, I could do that? I'm like, yeah, man. You could do it <laughs> or you're right such a guru. <laughs> yeah. And the, see, but that's you. the advantage of MLSP. If you come to the trainings and stuff, somebody's always dropping a nugget in the Facebook group. So you can turn around and share that little nugget. Sometimes they're temporary nuggets. It's something like how to optimize your video better. There's like a loophole right now on Facebook. And if you do this and you backlink this way or whatever, and sometimes it's a long thing like that little uh, trick for the autoresponders. Um, the reason why I knew it was simply because I used autoresponders before you could build a capture page yourself. So we had to have a way to get them on. So sometimes it's an old school trick. A lot of times people, I pulled something out of my hat. That's an old school trick, and everybody's like, wow, you know, it's so simple. And sometimes it's a little technology tidbit. It's, uh, you know, there's so many little nuggets. And when you share them, concept, idea, a trick, and put it into a piece of content, people are like, wow, I really dig that. And now you're able to say, hey, if you like that one, there's more. Go to blankety blank and put in your name and email. Or Bert's trick that he's talking about is send a blank email to whatever your list name is at your autoresponder name. So it doesn't work on every autoresponder check, but if you're using AWeber or GetResponse, it does. It's whatever your list name is at AWeber.com or at GetResponse.com. They're automatically going to get put on your list when they send an email there. So it's kind of cool. Um, just a little doohickey, but get people on that list. So, Marcel, I hope that helps. See, what you don't want to do is lead with your program. Because if you lead with your program, um, people will reject it. Because most of the people, let's put it this way, who would you like to recruit? Wouldn't you like to recruit some top-notch marketers or people with some experience? And I don't know about you guys. I mean, do you guys want to recruit people that are marketers that already know about marketing, right? Sure. Yeah. So we don't, if we lead with the MLM, most of us, like right now, all three of us have an MLM. So does almost every leader in MLSP except for a couple, and then they have affiliate programs that they're working. So if I approach someone and I say, hey, would you like to join my XYZ program, their reaction is going to be, I already have a program. But if I approach someone and say, hey, you want to know a cool trick, you can get more leads on the Internet, they're going to come towards me, and that gives me the chance to get to know them, meet them, have them like me and trust me, and then they're much more likely to ask about my MLM because everybody's pitching something all over the Internet, and that's MLSP chose you how to be the opposite of that, which is really cool. So let's see what else we got. Ninja secret for meeting people online. Do you guys have ninja secrets? Ninja secret. Ninja. I don't know if mine, I, my, I'm not really stealthy like ninja about my stuff. So. That's why I'm laughing because you just meet people. It's not, it yeah, doesn't need to be ninja. Mine's more like pirate secrets, right? I say like get the swashbuckler hat with the big feather, like a crazy sword and like a wild, fluffy, crazy like shirt on and like start swinging across. Patch, things. patch. You got to have a patch, man. Oh, yeah, the eye patch. If you can hook like a sweet parrot or something to and like a peg leg, I mean, the more crazy you could go and then just start like going onto people's pages. Here's a new trick. This is called pirate marketing. It's actually a new system that we're creating. <laughs> What you wait, wait, do wait, 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 is, wait, 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 it's $297, oh. don't, don't that, give it away. Yeah. It's, well, I'm just telling you the premise of what you're gonna, what you're gonna learn in the course. If this is swashbuckling at its best. What you will learn how to do is literally, this pirating course teaches you how to do pirate techniques on Facebook, like literally broadside another fan page with your fan page, take over their thread, and you can literally cut videos in your pirate outfit, with a welcome message. It's a new thing that's been happening. <laughs> People are going to love you for it. And their family and their friends are going to love it when you post it on their wall. And there is, we want you to know up front, there's a key, there is a few key pirate phrases that are required. Wait, wait, wait. Bert, before you give the phrases, I want to give a disclaimer. For any of you that might not be aware, Bird is having fun now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> going to go do this pirate thing, and yeah. we're going to be responsible. Now, what are the pirate <laughs> phrases? I'm just, well, one of the pirate phrases could be something like, 
are, matey. I see they were <laughs> like-minded swashbucklers. <laughs> we may be looting in the same areas, and I thought we should combine forces. <laughs> Something like that. And, you know, if you have your parrot that can mimic you and, you know, give you, you know, give other marketing tips, you're going to get a lot of leads for sure. So, so, so. put them in the autoresponder. Put them in the autoresponder. <laughs> See? That right? We're not spammers. We're not spammers. Right? Like, so. Find the individuals. I'm telling you, the pirate marketing, this isn't going to sweep Facebook over the next seven days. And I would like to throw this out there. If you really do pirate marketing, there could be. I'm, I'm not saying this is 100% for sure. I'm saying there could be a, a pirate contest. Imagine. I mean, imagine the outfits that we could see. This could be really fun. And I'm telling you that straight up, if you're watching this, we are having fun. But these are the types of ideas that you have to, you know, you can tone them down and bring them back. But these are the fun stories, and these are the types. You want to know how to build content? There you go. You got like literally days of pirate content right there. You can do Long John Silver. You can do, um, you can like, you could go crazy and bring Robinson Crusoe into it, right? I don't know how he's with a pirate ship, but maybe your pirate ship cruises by his island and maybe they're on that island, right? Davey and their guy Friday. Maybe John Slocker, man. There's there. all kinds of good stuff. See, Diane, I do something a little bit different. I, I actually go into like Birch Group and pirate marketing and I take all these people out of there and have them follow me. There you go. <laughs> well, see, but here's what's funny. Uh, Bert doesn't know this because we haven't known each other long enough and we've known each other a while now. Bert, my partner and I had a website uh, and our whole campaign called Zombie Marketing. And it was all about how to turn your leads into zombies and it had all kinds of zombie stuff and everything. And then another time we did, um, when video was new, we did a week-long campaign that we all became spies and we wore trench coats and wigs <laughs> and glasses. And we'd go out and we'd find like the only phone booth left and we'd make believe we were calling into headquarters all to promote a webinar. We, so Bert and I are going to have some fun because this is so up my alley and I haven't done it in ages because now, back in the day, everybody just would do what I told them to do. And then everybody, all this stuff came out and everybody started to think it was silly. We used to pack those suckers out having that much fun. So uh, I also like to do uh, midnight, you know, crazy revival calls and all kinds of crazy stuff. We did everything under the sun. But just to come back so people don't think we're being too crazy, Mari, the whole point and when you asked about Ninja Secrets, it's about being yourself, having a lot of fun, talking to people like you would anywhere else. Instead of trying to sell them or get them or anything else, it's having a good time and meeting people and finding out about who they are and what they're into and, you know, and then figuring out as the conversation goes by, it's, it's what can I do to help you out, man. Um, and so when we let go of that whole, I got to get you, and we get into, you know, where are you, what's going on? I mean, I get phone calls all day, every day, and messages all day, every day from people asking me questions or wanting help with stuff. And where do you think all the sales come from? It comes from people seeing you as somebody who can help them out. So, um, you know, and this is aside from the Internet marketing side. Obviously, we can run ads and we can push traffic and all that stuff. We have training on all of it. But meeting people, if you want to meet people, the best way to meet people is have a good time. You know, just have a good time. And you'll be stunned at how either that or do what Bob says, go into crazy people's groups and say, everybody come with me, that guy's crazy. <laughs> and that works pretty darn well. Um, let's see. What else do we got? Angela, you know, it's funny. Angela's asking about direct mail, and we don't really cover direct mail in My Lead System Pro so much, but uh, Marty McDonald uh, is here today, and I know you know him from uh, from MLSP. You can ask him about how he's using it. I use, I personally use direct mail, particularly postcards and stuff, to follow up with people. Um, I like to get something uh, in their inbox, on their phone, and in their mailbox. Um, so call mail, email process, whether it's prospecting or whether I like to revive my old people. Um, so I do like to collect addresses when I can. I get them as often as I can. And I send, um, I tend to send fun stuff. Bert, you'll like this. One of my best campaigns over the years was when I couldn't figure out how to print the postcards in my printer before I was using professional printing. And I couldn't figure out how to line up the printer right. 
So I just went and bought some uh, scra uh, some scented magic markers and scratch and sniff stickers and sparkly markers, and, you know. And I just started handwriting out postcards. I used to write 30 postcards a day, no kidding. I'd sit and watch TV or whatever I was doing and write out 30 postcards a day. And they all were handwritten in pink and purple and stuff like that with, with banana stickers and grape stickers like you used to get in third grade. My phone would ring off the hook. My phone would ring off, the, and everybody would think, oh, it takes too long. You know what? I want my phone to ring, because <laughs> if I get them on the phone, I can make a sale. You know, if I get them on the phone, I can point them at a presentation or chat with them. So if i got to put a scratch and sniff sticker to get them to write me back or call me back, I'm all about it. I do the same thing with email. Um, I flirt with my prospects. I have a lot of fun. I'll, I'll write someone, and I'll write peekaboo or knock, knock. And who can not write back to knock knock? It's not possible. <laughs> not possible. So I know it sounds wacky, and I might get yelled at for sharing these things, but these are ninja fun um, tips and tricks. You know, lighten it up. Now, guys, if you're doing like serious hardcore driving traffic, you're not going to write peekaboo on a solo ad. Okay. So you know, let's really let's not take this literally. If I'm meeting someone. And, um, you know, I figure out that they love the same music person as me or whatever. I might use a lyric. I might, you know, all kinds of stuff. Um, like you guys, if you meet, um, you know, guys that are, you know, bald, you might talk about bald things, right? That's all we Don't talk about. Don't be offended. About. My husband's one of you. That's all we talk about. Yeah. You know, like what razors you like and <laughs> all that stuff, how to keep it smooth and, and stuff like that. And And seriously, I would. Like... I know that sounds crazy, but I say all kinds of wacky stuff to people all the time. They they absolutely love it um, because everybody else is trying to recruit them. Everybody else is trying to sell them. Everybody else is a like-minded individual. How many of you guys get hit up, and how often do you get hit up on a weekly basis by people just being weird? Weird. So uh, let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, so, Berkey, and, Berkey's bothering me. Bert keeps bothering you, and he's been bothering me too. But I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I've been trying to pitch Bob for like seven months now, and he won't respond. Oh, I thought you said pinch. Oh. <laughs> Bob, come on now. <laughs> you know, it's like that little, I don't know if you guys watch that Fallon show, right? You watched, but last Friday. He just, show? Just, yeah, he show? Yeah, Justin Timberlake. He's like, Timber, like hey, it's, it's no fun. What's, what's, what's the world coming to when you can't do a hot tub with your buddy? Is, we only had one sleepover. He's like, it was just one sleepover. My wife was there. His wife. We weren't even in the same house. Come on. We're just having one hot tub. It's just a hot tub. We're just doing a soak. It's a quick soak. And now, and now, remind me after this when I talk to you, Bert, I have to tell you something about this weekend. But anyway. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh gosh! What, what are we uh, talking about? <laughs> okay, you were talking Michelle, about trying to pinch me, Bob. Oh yeah, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Michelle, for your question, if you're looking for the information about if you're putting a video and then putting an article in the description, I I defer to uh, Mark and Frank. Check the video marketing training in the back office. Um, I I don't do it that way. I do it a little different. So, um, but their way is the right way um, because they get tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of leads from that. Um, so, absolutely. So, what else? Come on, guys. It's uh, it's a quarter out. We still got 15 minutes. Somebody's got to have something else sexy uh, that they want to ask or questions on. What can we do? You got? Um, you figure I've been doing this for 15 years. These guys have loads of experience. They've generated tons of leads. They've recruited tons of people. They're rockers and rollers. So there's got to be something else that we can help you with. Oh, did I turn off the chat by accident? Yeah. I didn't mean to. Right, um, let's, let's call on people. Let's call yeah. on people? Yeah, that would be fun. Who should we call on? How are we going to do that? Teacher Bob over here. How do you do that, Bob? Bob's all like technical. He's like, well, if you take the submatrix HTML on the YouTube page, you can ask him a question. They'll raise their hand. <laughs> I'm still, uh, I'm still thinking about how to do that yet. Bob, Bob, we were having a big discussion. For those of you that don't know, uh, Bob is the PhD in reproductive science. Is that what it is, or reproductive? Yeah, something? that's good. That's close enough. Yeah. Yeah, close enough. So we were having this big conversation about hormones. A bunch of women discussing hormones. We're all like, let's call Bob. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't like to get in that conversation. <laughs> it's like, like a bunch of 47-year-old women want you to discuss their hormones with them. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me throw up a page you can pay me on first. <laughs> Guys, look, here's let me let me break this down really simple the way I started and then the way I do it today. When I first started, <clears throat> back in the day, back when I was young, okay? <clears throat> It was, I figured out there's only four processes in uh, in our business. The first one is to attract people or collect them, to get them to notice uh, that you have something going on. The second thing was to capture their identity, so their name, their email, their phone number. So it was the same. If you were going prospecting in the mall, you'd have to start a conversation. That would be the, uh, the collect, right? You'd, you'd start a conversation, and then you'd uh, take that conversation to, hey, can I get your number so I can call you tomorrow and get you some more information? So we have to capture their identity. Today we're doing it online, very simply. And then we're going to communicate with the people. Today we do it via email, but back then it might have been postcards, it might have been, you know, calling them up. And then we put the offer or the presentation in front of them and that's what closes them. Those are the only four things we do. We collect people, we capture them, we communicate with them and we close them. There's only four things. So what I always talk about is that we want to do it however we know how now. Okay? Like I would love to be a Facebook expert like Michelle. And maybe one of these days I will sit down in my ADHD way that I am and sit down and learn it all. But unfortunately, I'm not as analytical as Michelle. And I'm talking about Michelle Pesco-Solito for you guys that don't know her. She's a freaking genius. So I wish I were more like Michelle. But I'm not. And I can discipline myself and learn so much. But in this particular case, what I want to do is do what I know how to do. If I would only do, that, my mentor taught me, if you would only do what you already know how to do, things would change. So if you do what you know how to do today, that's why I hand wrote those postcards, because I didn't know how to print the, the postcards, so I had to do what I knew how to do, and I knew how to write. Okay, most of you know how to write. Okay, Most of you know how to pick up a phone and dial it. You don't even have to do that thing anymore. You know, I, I can't make that that rotary dial sound, um, you know, most of you know how to do, you know, you know how to write an email. So if you don't know how to do an autoresponder yet, then send out an email to a handful of people together. Each process, all we ever do as we get slicker is we just add more leverage, but the process never changes. I might now run, uh, I could run $5,000 worth of ads tomorrow if I wanted to. I don't. But if I wanted to, I could run $5,000 worth of ads. And that would be the same collect process as it would be doing videos every day. It would be the same collect process as if I ran an ad in the newspaper. Because the process doesn't change. Does everybody understand that? Uh, let me see what Rick said. Uh Okay, Rick. Um, <clears throat> Rick's asking if you wanted to promote a business presentation opportunity meeting happening in any town this weekend. What's the best way to reach out to people on Facebook, free and pay per click? Um, you know, you can go on Facebook and you can run an ad that's only targeting a specific geographic area. You could target people that like Eric Worre, uh who's a master networker, uh, that live in the state of New Jersey. Um, it is possible to do that, and that ad will only run and show to people that are, um, you know, in Jersey. Uh, I don't think you can target it all the way down to towns and stuff. I'm pretty sure you can't, but you could do geographical areas. You can do based upon their interests. Um, you also can go and look for groups um, that are, you know, a specific geographical area based. There's also networks on Facebook, like the Hartford Network or the whatever, Kenosha Network. Um, you can get in there. Um, you also can run uh, a ad in the classifieds. It's still not too late. It's only Monday. You could get an ad in to hit Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, you know, those are some of the ways that you could hit a local geographic area. Um, or find one pivot person in the area by doing some searches on Facebook and elsewhere and then seeing if they're interested and let them know that... Uh, you know, put them in and then let them know that everybody that they bring to the table, you'll do the talking or the meeting will do the talking and all those people will go underneath them. Um, I could go on about this all day, Rick. There's a lot of different ways. Just get creative and open up your mind. Um, and, and here's the biggest one. Write this down, guys. This is, Bert, this is an old school, oldie but a goodie. 
that nobody does, but any old school networker does it all the day, all day long. We can't help it. We do it like clockwork. The the phrase is, "Who do you know? Who do you know?" So like right now, I'm working on something that's international. Everybody I talk to, the first thing I'm doing is saying, who do you know in blank, wherever I want to build? Hey, do you know anybody? I'm not trying to get this guy. Like if I say, Bob, do you know anyone in Venezuela? I know I know Rosie speaks Spanish. Do you know anybody in Venezuela? Mm -hmm. And you either do or you don't. You tell me, oh, my God, the lady I work with is from Venezuela. Really, how long has she been here? Does she still have family in Venezuela? Listen, my business is expanding into Venezuela. Do you think she, you know, ask her if she'd like to chat with me. It might be something for one of her family or friends. That phrase, all I do all day long is, who do you know? You're welcome, Rick. Who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? And I do it in my normal life, too. Like, who do you know, you know, that wears size nine shoes? I have some to give away. Who do you know that, you know, it's just a natural progress. You guys got to get that under your belt because you'll find that the world is your oyster if you just learn that phrase. You can get to anyone. I'm, I'm telling you, you can get to famous people. You can get into anything. You can get into, into a club, into a this, anything exclusive, because you just start asking, who do you know? It's the old six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Oh, she said bacon. <laughs> oh, no. Within six degrees of you, there's somebody who's connected to pretty much anything you want. It's, it's funny. Christy's on the line. Christy was telling me the other day that she um, uh, knows somebody who knows somebody else or whatever that's uh, involved in a particular TV show, which has one of my very favorite actors on it. And she just happened to mumble it. And I'm like, wait a minute. You are like, I am one degree from Mark Harmon. I am one degree from Mark Harmon, who I've loved since I was a teenage girl. I'm one degree from him. That hurts my head. So you guys can recruit. You can get people in any town. Because people love to help. Write this down. People will do more to help you than they'll do to help themselves. People will do more to help you than they'll do to help themselves. So most people do a direct approach, like I want to recruit you. Bob, I want to recruit you. And Bob's going to say no. But if I say, hey, Bob, my business is expanding and I really need help. Do you know anybody in um, Massachusetts? Bob will literally sit there and tell you everybody he knows in Massachusetts. I if I said, Bob, that. would you like to make the money? Bob will go, no. I'm not talking about Bob in general. Most people will go, no. I used to see this all the time in my health and wellness business that I had originally. Somebody would refer people to me. And then I'd say, well, would you like to, you know, would you like to become a rep so you can make the money on these purchases? And they'd be like, no. But they keep sending me people. And I'd be like, but you could have the money. Why don't you take the money? I don't want the money. I'm just going to help you. I love you. <laughs> See, now me, I want the money. Yeah. Anybody else want the money? Yeah. yeah. So, But these were people that were literally referring people to me left and right. And they'd be like, let's just get you signed up. And so like at MLSP, it's like pure profit product. Who do you know that wants to learn about video marketing? Oh, I know all these people over at my program. They want to learn about video marketing. Awesome. Let's get you into MLSP, and then I'll show you how you can sell the pure profit products and make 260 some odd dollars a piece. No, 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 no. I'll just send them to you. Okay. Send them over. Yeah, that works, so too. So <laughs> the habit of who do you know is a habit that you all should have 100%. So let's do a little promo on what's going on for the rest of the week. Let me check Q&A, make sure we're done. Oh, wait. Uh, I mean, oh, by the way, guys, tomorrow night, you got to check her wall, uh, Mina, a lot of you guys know Mina. I'm going to say it wrong, but Palakito? Pala I don't know. I'm probably saying it wrong. Palakibai? Palakibai. Put the accent in the wrong place. Palakibai. Okay. Mina and I. Uh, me, me, Mina won a contest, um, and and she's going to be bringing me on a webinar tomorrow night, and we're going to be talking about seven little tweaks that you can make to your business that will bring you more money, more leads, and all the good stuff you want. That's tomorrow night. Uh, find her, track her down, beg her for the link. I don't have it. I do have it, but I don't have it handy. Um, but track her down and ask her if you can come to that. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to let out some gems. Um, Mina said, what's a good comeback when you get pushed into a corner by someone who is desperate to sell? Um, the question is, why are we letting them push them in a letting them push us in the corner? Guys, take control. I mean, if somebody's 
you know, pushing you. It's the same, guys. How do you take control, ladies? If you're out uh, on a Friday night with some girlfriends and some guys trying to make time with you, uh, I used to remember this back when I was, you know, younger back in the day. But if some guy's like really aggressive with you, you tell him to back off. You don't just like let him put his hands on you or something like that. So, in in sales words, if somebody's like aggressive with you, you have to let them know, hey, I'm not interested. Um, you know, I I don't know if that's the answer to the question you want, but um, you know, if you get skilled, you can flip them. Um, and I'm pretty good at flipping people, but that's, you know, we don't have enough time to cover that. Uh, uh, how long is the recommended time you should spend in your online efforts to get results until you get them? Okay. Guys, if you want something, you go for it. It's like, how long should you, you know, how long should you, uh, I don't know, how long should you sleep to get, you know, great optimal energy? I don't know, as long as your body needs. How long should you spend on your marketing until you generate some leads? I have uh, what I call my nut. Um, in sales, we call it a nut. And it's like, how many leads will I generate today? How many people will I meet? And how much money will I make? And I don't go to bed until I do it. Now, that's just me, and I'm a little wicky-wacky. Um, <laughs> I am. I'm like crazy because I'm just like, look, I'm not going to bed until I get this done. Now, I do have a bet with someone that I have to buy them a bottle of scotch if I don't do something in particular. He's not on right now because he's traveling. But, um, yeah, now I, 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 gave, I built in my incentive because i got to buy somebody a bottle of scotch if I don't do certain things. And he has to buy me a really good bottle of wine if he messes up. Not that we're pushing alcohol. It was just something fun to bet. You know, we could bet hamsters or gerbils or something, but we went for scotch and wine. Um, I don't want anybody to be like, they're, they're alcoholics over there. Um, but, you know, if you, if you need to use something to incentivize yourself to get more done, but the answer is, you know, how long should you work? You know, if you were fixing your house, if your roof was leaking, how many hours should I put into fixing my roof? Well, until it doesn't leak anymore. So, sorry, I know that's not the question everybody wants, um, but, I mean, the answer everybody wants. Uh, how do you deal with really bad naysayers? You don't! <laughs> that's the beauty of attraction marketing. Bert, when's the last time you spoke to a naysayer? I was going to just ask, what does that mean? I don't know exactly. A person who, who's, like, giving you a hard time about your business? When's the last time you spoke to one? Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> a long time ago, maybe months. For me, it was, like, 2002, I think. Yeah, I, you're, you, I'm equating my months into, like, your years, right? I've only been in it months, and you've been in a year. So for you, like, you're like, oh, like, seven years. I'm like, oh, like, seven months, maybe. No, Not but the, you've like, only been in for a little while. The point is when yeah. you understand the concept, if you're talking to someone about their business – and you're asking them questions about, you know, what they're up to and everything. And you say, well, hey, you know, they're telling you they want to drive more traffic. And you say, well, hey, um, you know, video marketing is great for that. Would you like to learn? Uh, we have a great course on, on video marketing. Would you like to take a look at that? And they go, no, I'm not interested. That's it. No big deal. You had a nice conversation. They're not looking for a video course. Okay. And then you can talk to them another time. If somebody's, like, slamming you, um, there's something weird because you really shouldn't be dealing with, that it, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, and again, you guys want to study the system and study these fundamentals because it just doesn't come up. Like all the objections that most people get, like, is this a pyramid deal? Well, the only people that are on my list are people that like pyramid deals. So I don't get that objection. Um, you know, how much money have you made? All that stuff that people do. We generally don't have those people because of the way the systems are set up. MLSP does it for you guys. All you got to do is put people through those processes and just chat with them. Uh, let's see. I had someone ask me, uh, if I joined MLSP, what would you suggest I do to make money the fastest while I'm still working to learn the system? How would you answer this question? Uh, I would follow the academy training That's part of the uh, that training. we have. That's our first step. And our academy training teaches you how to generate leads right away, and it teaches you what to do with them right away. Boom. There you go. Boom. That is the training. Okay, Wally, again, we're not on a, on a call for that particular thing that you're asking about. This is for My Lead System Pro. Uh, what is the name for the webinar tomorrow? I don't know what the name is. Mina, put it in the chat. <laughs> uh, it's something about seven tweaks of something. Uh, I, but I do know I'm going to say some smart, good stuff. That's what I know. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, same thing, Michelle. Family and friends 
I want my family and friends to know what I'm up to, and if I have a product, like if I'm, I'm in an MLM, I might want to get them to try the product. But I'm not going to try to recruit family and friends, um, particularly ones that are negative about what I'm doing. What I want them to do is know what I'm up to. I want, I want to ask them, who do you know? Okay, who do you know that might be looking to make some extra money? I just got into something, might be helpful to someone you know. I might like to put them on a friends and family newsletter. I like to ask people, can I put you on a newsletter and you'll get something from me once or twice a month about what we're up to in case you know someone I can help. That's a great way to go. But as far as presenting to my family and friends, guys, it's been 15 years. They haven't come around yet. So, um, although they have bought things from me, because, uh, you know, like right now I'm dealing with a particular product and my family likes it. Um, in the past, I've had other products. They weren't interested. Um, but they always knew what I was doing and they always referred people to me. So, again, as you get into attraction marketing, this becomes a lot less of an issue. It's just not a big deal because there's tons of Do you think there's tons of people on the Internet right now looking for an opportunity? They're all over. They're everywhere. So the question is, do you want to convince your brother or would you like to deal with the thousand people that are sitting right now, you know, that I could go locate in two minutes that are looking for something? I want to talk to people. My, my mentor said, I'm looking for people that are looking for me. I'm looking for people that are looking for me. And the reason why I learned how to market is so I can get in front of people that are actually looking for what I have. Because you don't want to get into a convincing game. Convincing games are no fun. Is it Rosie? Rosemary. Tell her to come back. She wants to see. Uh, Happy anniversary, baby. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Love you. Just want to say happy anniversary. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Continue with your work. We're just about done. I'm going to give them back to you. Okay. See ya. <laughs> Bye-bye. Nice to talk to you. Yep. So good to see you. See, guys, she does exist. She's a cutie patootie. So let me give you guys a couple of last tidbits. One, to, tomorrow night we have Dean Black. Actually, tonight, for those of you uh, that are MLSP members right now, uh, there's a bonus webinar. Brian's going to be talking about how to sell on webinars. Check your back office. If you are not an MLSP member but you would like to get a trial, to come inside and see what we're talking about. That's at MLSP.com. I'm putting that in the chat. MLSP.com. You can get a trial. Check us out. Sniff us. Find out who we are, what we're about. Been serving the uh, profession for the last five years, going on six years. Um, and I got to tell you guys, I won't name names, but pretty much all the top names in this space have come through mm -hmm. this this uh, this place, you know, this incubator, as I like to call it. Tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern, Dean Black does his uh, fast track to success for new members. If you join today, you can jump on that training tomorrow. Obviously, we have the recorded training, but if you like a live uh, session with somebody who's going to walk you through, that's Dean Black. It's incredible. Wednesday night, do we know who's doing Wednesday night? Anybody know? I didn't look yet. Is it a secret? Is it Rob? I think it. I think it's Rob. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is Rob. I'm not, I don't, sure. I'm not sure. I think it is. Well, in any case, Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, every Wednesday for the five and a half years, we have had the industry-wide marketing training webinar. It goes on every Wednesday, 9 p.m., and it's always a top uh, six-figure, multi-six-figure. In this particular case, this guy's a you know a multi-million dollar earner. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Rob, and if it's not, I lied and... <laughs> Yell at me, but pretty sure Rob Four is coming out. This guy's a genius, and you know, I go way back with Rob. Rob used to come to my conference calls back in 2007, 2008. We've known each other for a very, very long time. He's absolutely incredible. Um, and then I don't think we have anything on Thursday this week. Tuesday night, oh, tomorrow night too. We also have the um, hangout at 9 p.m. where it's just kind of a round table. It's kind of like this, except at night for the U.S. people. We have this one for people that love the afternoon and our European crowd. We always want to make sure we take care of our Europeans. We love you. Um, so we have this in the afternoon. So tomorrow night there's a hangout similar to this, um, you know, leaders from MLSP hanging out and just sharing tidbits and ideas. So we have an absolutely full schedule jam-packed this week of good, good, good training and help for you. Of course, we have our MLSP Facebook group where you can come in and get questions answered and get help pretty much 24 hours a day because we have people around the globe. Um, where you should not spam because you get beaten up pretty bad. I don't understand these people that come in that group and spam. What are you thinking, guys? Um, it's like the antithesis of what we teach. 
And um, I just want to thank Bert Bledsoe. For those of you that are looking uh, to come see Bert and Justice uh, this week on Friday, watch the MLSP Facebook group. We'll let you know when and where we're going to be in Connecticut. And for those of you that just love Bob, you should go track him down on Facebook and tell him you love him. I mean, I mean, I would love to see you, Bob, but I expect you're at work. But well, you if there's any know. way to do that, which you do, I'm sure Rosemary would be crushed if she had to go to the casino. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going gambling. We're going to a resort. It's a lovely resort. Um, and Beth, we love you too. So, um, you know, uh, the uh, European crowd is uh, doing the wave over there. So, uh, we just made it from uh, from liver sausage, as we like to call where Beth lives, over to Brittany. So, woohoo, all my European buddies. Um, <laughs> so, I think that's it. So, hopefully, we'll see some of you guys. Thank you, Patty. It is Rob Four. She's confirming for me. We're a team. Um, we will see some of you guys on Friday, those of you East Coasters. The East Coast never gets anything good, so I'm happy about this. And for the rest of you guys, I'll be back here next Monday for the Ultimate Freedom Webinar. Come prepared. Sometimes I have a topic. Sometimes the topic is you. It always is you. Guys, come in with whatever. And Bob will be making babies as usual. <laughs> Daily. Daily. Maybe see some of you guys tomorrow night on that that uh, that webinar with Mina too. That'd be absolutely great. So love you guys. Thanks for being here. We will see you all later, taters. Everyone have a good one. Hawkman out. Bye guys.